Hello! Welcome! It's Packer Sunday! What up? Thank you for watching today's video. My name is Al. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've got... If, since I had the chance, or since there was a reason... Go Pack Go! For me to do a football uh, tarot video. And I thought, you know what? The Pack... They're doing great. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are doing a phenomenal job this year. Um, even though it's been a very difficult year, you know, to, to actually perform well at games. And they just recently started letting um, fans into the stands at Lambeau Field for a game. And today they're going to do that again. And today's game is a crucial one because it's one step away from a uh, Super Bowl appearance. And so today's game is the Green Bay Packers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home field. So the Packers have a home field advantage. And I'm hoping that they can use that advantage to beat Tampa Bay and make their way to the Super Bowl. So I thought, you know what? Let's take a look at the game from a tarot point of view. I'm gonna be using my favorite and trusty Tarot Nova deck, one of my favorite decks of cards, in order to do today's reading for the game. And so uh, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a quick couple of shuffles, and I'm gonna pull one card for each team, one card for each quarterback, and then one card for the end result. Basically, who's going to win the game, okay? Um, and once again, there's this is going to be a five-card pull, and I will share the cards that pop up for each item. So I shuffled, cut the cards in three. And now let's get down to it, okay? Okay, so the first uh, card I'm going to pull is for the Green Bay Packers as a team, all themselves. And then I'll do one for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ah, okay, so as far as the Green Bay Packers as a team is concerned, you've got the devil reversed. And they are planning to bring it. They're looking for that red, or um, they're looking for that yellow and green light at the end of the tunnel. Textbook meaning for the devil card reverse, freedom. Letting, uh, getting rid of the negativities that surround you. Seeing the end of the tunnel, healing, moving forward, seeing the end results. And so if that's what the Green Bay Packers are looking for, the devil card reverse definitely says that's what they're going to receive. They're going to see that end result that they're looking to achieve. Okay, so this next card is this is what the green or this is what the uh, Buccaneers are looking at. This is how they this is how they're seeing things. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have the Ace of Cups reversed. The Ace of Cups reverse is kind of a little bit of a worry card. It's a card that says they do believe it, they believe in their outcome, but somehow their hearts just aren't in it. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't want to win. They certainly want to win, just like the Packers do. But the Buccaneers somehow are kind of not... Somehow they're just not going to give it everything that they ought to. I get the weird feeling that the, somebody on their team is not going to show up for work. Okay? So, Aaron Rodgers. Yee! Hi, Papa. Anyway, <laughs> so this card represents Aaron Rodgers and his point of view, his performance throughout the game. Ugh. Ten of Swords Reverse, he is looking at freedom. He is looking at seeing things from brand new perspectives. I get weird ideas that we're going to see stuff from Aaron Rodgers we might not have seen before. Textbook meaning for the Ten of Swords Reverse, a brand new day is dawning. Seeing things from a new perspective. 
finding new life, new light. So chances are Aaron Rodgers has a pretty good viewpoint as far as what he is expecting from himself and from the team. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Tom Brady. This card represents Tom Brady. This is his thought process. This is his performance. This is what he's thinking. Seven of Pentacles reversed. I do feel like as far as he's concerned, you're going to see Tom Brady really try to pull effort from the Buccaneers. I do feel like as far, well, as far as textbook meaning is concerned, maybe overthinking things, maybe being overconfident. The Seven of Pentacles is a card that says, I put a lot of effort into it, but I'm really not getting everything I've put into it. So I, I guess it's kind of like when you really dive into a subject that you really want to be a part of and you put proper intention into it, but you don't really get much out of it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I guess Tom Brady is expecting his team to do a lot more than they're capable of. I guess that's a good way to put that. All right. So this last card is going to be the end result. I guess I'm looking for who's going to win. Is it going to be uh, Green Bay Packers? Is it going to be Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Let's take a peek and see what we get. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? Oh, shit. Okay. I'm saying that because the Five of Wands pops up. And look it. I mean, if you look at this, that guy's in red. That guy's in yellow and green. It's definitely going to be a fight to the finish. This is going to be a good game. These the, Both of these teams are going to be really struggling to take their step forward, but at the same time, keep the other team one step behind. I love that this, this te okay, textbook meaning for Five of Wands, struggle, strife, fighting. Normally, you look at that from a fighting, like in a negative point of view, like, you know, two people having an argument and they end up fighting and, and nothing good comes from it. This, we're going to see some super healthy competition from both teams today. Now, I want to show a little close up of this. See the guy in the red? His wand is just a bit underneath the guy in the green and yellow. The green and yellow guy, his wand is just a touch higher than the red guy. I'm going to say that says to me, the Packers are going to win it by a margin, by a very small margin. So that could be like one point. That could be by, you know, um, one field goal. Um, certainly not by like a touchdown because that's a six point spread. And so I'm thinking... I'm thinking the Green Bay Packers are going to take it today, guys, by a very slim point margin. Maybe by one point, maybe by two points, but that's what it looks like. Thank you for watching today's um, football video. <laughs> I don't get a chance to do these too much because football is such a small point of view, or a, a small season, and... Um, and um, I am a Green Bay Packer fan, so go Pack Go! But that's what today's tarot has got to say about today's football game. Happy Sunday, everybody. Bye!